Hi guys. This is D. Igorotech. Today, I will show you how to block a website on FortiGate Firewall. I will show you different methods. Let's begin. We are going to block internal users to access Facebook.com. For this demo, I'm using a licensed device so we can use the security profiles to block a website. I will also show you how to block a website even though your device license is expired. If we go to the firewall policy, we can see here the current policies. Our goal for today is to block DHCP users to access Facebook from their browsers. In the previous video, I showed you how to create addresses, address groups and how to use them on creating policies. Since we are going to block a website then it would be under web filter profile. What we are going to do is create a different web filter profile to replace this default profile. It's best to create a different profile rather than modifying the default profile. Now, go to security profiles. All these security profiles on this policy can be seen on security profiles section. Now, choose the web filter. We can either clone and modify these pre-configured profiles or we can create new profiles. To create a new profile, click on create new. We will give a name of block Facebook for our reference. Comments is optional. The first method to block websites is using this 40 guard category based filter. Even if you don't use this method, I still suggest you enable this option because by default, it blocks porn sites and also malicious websites. To block Facebook, go to general interest personal and look for social networking. Right click on the action then choose block. However, this method will block all social networking websites. You can use this method if you want to block all social websites. Good for offices or schools. You will see the example websites like Facebook, Twitter, etc. If you want to know more about social networking sites, you can search for social networking sites. Here, you can see all the websites under that social networking category. Since our goal is to block only Facebook then this method is not applicable. The second method is using the URL filter. Under static URL filter section. Enable the URL filter. Click create new. For the type. Choose wildcard. Now, for the URL, enter the asterisk followed by the domain name. Asterisk is the wildcard. It represents any characters like subdomains. For the action. Since our goal is to block then we will choose block. For the status. Choose enable. Click OK to apply the changes. You can see the newly created URL filter. The URL which is facebook.com. Type is wildcard. Action is blocked and status is enabled. Another method is using the content filter. By default, it's disabled so we need to enable it. Now, click on create new. For the pattern type, we can use wildcard or regular expression. We will choose regular expression, well, you can use the wildcard if you prefer. For the pattern, we will enter Facebook. Leave the language to default or you can choose different language if you want to block different content. Since our goal is to block then we will choose block. Make sure to enable the status. Click OK to save the changes. You can see the newly created content filter. Click OK again to apply the changes. Now, we have a new web filter profile which is block Facebook. Next is we will apply the newly created web filter profile to a firewall policy. Under policy and objects. Choose firewall policy we can open a new tab. Again, we are going to block Facebook from DHCP users so we are going to modify that policy. All the details are the same, we will only change the web filter profile. Click on it to view other profiles. Now, select the profile we just created which is the block Facebook. For the SSL inspection, make sure to select the certificate inspection or deep inspection for this policy to scan HTTPS traffic. Click OK to apply the changes. You can see that the block Facebook profile is now unused. Now, let's open a browser and test to access facebook.com. 
If you still can access then try to restart the browser. Now it's been blocked but if you still can access Facebook even after restarting the browser then you need to clear the cache. Usually it's the cache needs to be cleared. To clear the cache, press Ctrl plus Shift plus Delete on your keyboard. For the time range, choose All Time. Clear all the cache and browsing history. Click Clear now to proceed. By now, you shouldn't be able to access Facebook.com. Next method is we will use the domain name to block a website. You can also use this method if your FortiGate UTM license has expired. First is we will create an FQDN or fully qualified domain name. Go to Addresses. Click Create New. Choose Address. We will give a name of Facebook for our reference. Change the icon color if you prefer. For the type, choose FQDN. We have two options from here. We can use the regular FQDN or we can use the wildcard FQDN. If you are going to use the regular one then just enter facebook.com. I usually use the wildcard FQDN, enter the asterisk followed by a dot and the domain name. Asterisk is the wildcard which means anything related or subdomains. The interface should be any. Comments is optional. Now click OK to apply the changes. We will now create a policy using this FQDN. Let's go back to the firewall policy. Again, we can simply clone and modify some of the current running policies. Everything would be the same. We will just change the destination using the Facebook FQDN address we just created. You can see the name, the type, the domain name, IP address and also the comments. Next is we will change the action to deny. This means, the DHCP users will be denied when accessing Facebook.com. Modify or remove the comments. Make sure to enable the policy then click OK to save the changes. You can now see the newly created policy. Now, Let's open a new tab and then test to access Facebook.com. If you deny the traffic through the domain name then you will not see any errors or any display. The website you block just won't open. It will just keep on loading but it won't continue. This was the error when we blocked the website through the security profile. On the other hand, this is the outcome after we blocked through the domain name or using the FQDN. If we go back to the firewall policy, you can see the bytes hit count is zero. Now, let's refresh the page. Notice that we have now a hit count since we tried to access Facebook.com. I hope by now you know how to block a website. Well, that's all for today's demonstration and I really hope you liked this video. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials. Thank you and see you on the next video.